Hi, with this video, we're going to show you how to go ahead and download your Enroute 6 software. So first things first, you're going to receive an email like the one in front of you. Uh, it's going to go ahead and it's going to bring in your activation code, your cloud ID, what product level you're on, uh, and then if there is a hardware key associated with your account as well. In order to do this, for instance, we're going to go ahead and we're going to log in through these four steps. We are going to have to go to saicloud.com. And then what we're going to do is we're going to paste in this activation code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy this at the moment. We do have to go into SAI Cloud. And if you have a Flexi Cloud as well, you can go ahead and you can log in to your information that's already saved over here. Or you can type it in if it's not automatically saved as well. If I have a new account, what I would do is I'd come in here and I would activate a new code by pasting it in here. Since I already have an account, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click Login. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go ahead and say Activate New Software. I'm going to paste in this code and I'm going to go ahead and say Activate. The next screen that you're going to see is it's going to say, OK, are you going to confirm that you're activating the software? Which right now I'm going to say yes. We are activating an NFR for Enroute 6 at this time. This is going to be the software ID number. Uh, for instance, if you call in for support or help, they are going to ask you for this number here, and I'm going to show you that it shows you on your account as well. So for now, I'm going to click Activate Now. Now I can go ahead and I can start downloading that software. So now I can go ahead and click Download, and it's going to go ahead and download to my computer. However, if I come back to the software, this is the one that we just installed. So this is my home screen. I can click on this, and it will take us back to that menu that we just were. I can download from this menu and I can also copy the activation code or tell out the software ID. For instance, like I said, if you call in for support or help on this scenario as well. Okay. I click on this. It's going to take us back to the screen that we were. Once again, your license down here. I can come up here. I can see when it expires. If it does, if it's perpetual, it'll say perpetual on it where it does not expire. And then it'll also tell you what level it is. Currently, the build that we are on now is 610. And now what we're going to do is once it's downloaded, we're going to go ahead and we are going to open up this program. And we're actually going to install it in route onto the computer. Once we click that download button, we are going to see this setup menu, which we're just going to click next. Agree to terms and conditions. We do have to set it a path for it which is going to be on your C drive so this is just going to be my NFR test and we are going to go ahead and install it so it's going to go ahead and it's going to start installing the whole package and what it's going to do is it's also going to ask you if you prefer to work in millimeters you can either click yes or no if you'd rather work in imperial rather than the metric system okay so we're going to go ahead and we're going to let it download and go through its process and then it should pop up with our millimeters which we're going to click no inside here and then it's going to go ahead and it's going to bring up the license manager next so we can actually paste in that activation code so i'm going to paste in our activation code click next hey it's going to say license successful and since it's an nfr i'm going to pick a version if you bought a perpetual key it is not going to ask you for this. It will automatically do this on install. Okay, I am going to create a desktop icon. So inside here. Okay, so now we have our in route installed onto our computer. So in order to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on this. Uh, however, if you do have multiple installs, you may have to right click and choose run it as, run as administrator. If you have a dongle associated to your software, what you'll need to do is open up your C drive and go into the folder that you were in, that you installed it in, and there's gonna be a hardware key software button, which you would then download the software in order to associate that, that driver with the dongle, and then you'll be able to open up in route. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna just open up in route. And the first thing you're going to see is a couple resource videos that you have available to you per install. 
And then also inside here, you also have the help menu. So if you click about, it will give you your software ID number and also the build number that you're on as well. You have your help contents, which will bring up a lot of useful information. You have your manual. This will link you to our support page as well. You can restore settings from previous versions if you have more than one install. It's a good way to bring all of your settings, your driver, and everything over without having to do it manually. And you also have your online movie link, which is going to link you to our YouTube page that has a wonderful surplus of online movies to help you along the way within and around.